News 10, leading the way in high definition. Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist, Lindsay Monroe. Good morning, everyone. We're talking a cold start to the day, but we will see those clouds increasing as we head through this afternoon. The cloud cover leading to a chance of some flurries tonight. We'll talk more about that in just a bit, but as you head out the door, it's going to be a very frosty start to the day with a mostly clear sky. Those temperatures have really plummeted during the overnight hours. We're just at 28 degrees right now with a calm wind. That means frost going to be pretty widespread out there this morning. You might even need to scrape off those windshields because temperatures right around 28 degrees here in Terre Haute, 29 in Paris, back through Mattoon. It's 34 in Casey, so just a little bit above freezing, but still most of us experiencing those very cold temperatures. You're going to want to bundle up as you head out the door for this morning. Temperatures jumping up near at least 28 degrees by 8 a.m. up to 35 by 10. We'll get up into the 40s by midday today with your high reaching 45 degrees. Still going to be below average. We should be closer to near 49, 50 for that average daytime high. So a little bit cooler than normal. But at least we're not talking snow during the day. That could change as we roll through this evening. Bigger picture shows us a system back to our west. It's slowly going to head down to the southeast, and that's going to bring us that chance for some snow as we see the cloud cover taking over the sky. We have a clear sky out there this morning. Good conditions for that frost to develop. Temperatures will warm up with that clear sky as the sun does come out, rising just after 745 this morning. But you see that snow just off to our northwest. We could get in on some of that as we head through the day. We'll look at all this on Futurecast now, starting off with that mostly clear sky, increasing clouds as we head through this afternoon, and temperatures getting back into the mid-40s. Heading through the day by the 1 o'clock hour, we'll do a partly cloudy sky and still pretty cool, as I mentioned, going to stay below average with those daytime highs. At this point, we'll continue to see those clouds building in, so we'll up there 43 degrees. Now by 6, that's when we're going to see the overcast skies come into play. And with that thick cloud deck overhead, it's not out of the question that we could get some flurries out of that. Now we're not talking anything too widespread or anything accumulating, but there is that chance and here's why. 8 o'clock tonight on Fujicast. Look how cloudy it's going to be. Just down to our south where temperatures are still a little bit above freezing at this point. There is a chance for some rain. But as we head through at least the 11 o'clock hour tonight, some of this rain down to our south could change over into a snow mix. And that's going to be across the extreme southern portions of the valley. But you can see everyone getting in on that cloud cover. That's why it's not completely out of the question that we could get some Flurries here or there, but not everyone going to see them. Don't expect to wake up tomorrow morning with snow on the ground because that's not going to be the case. Just a very small chance. Now it's going to get cold once again as we wake up Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. with temperatures in the mid 20s. And then we clear things out. Maybe left with a few partly cloudy skies for Tuesday afternoon at 5. But we're really going to feel that cold wind out of the northwest with highs struggling to get into the upper 30s. We'll do like 38s, 39s for your daytime high temperature. Well below average for Tuesday. We do have high pressure working its way in as we head through Wednesday into Thursday. That'll keep that sky clear and eventually highs getting back into the 40s. We'll start off in the lower 20s for Wednesday morning with highs reaching back near 45. That's exactly where we'll be today as well. 45 degrees. We'll see increasing clouds heading through the day today with that slight chance of some flurries as we roll through the overnight hours tonight. 24 degrees, your overnight low temperature. So getting back to the mid 20s is going to be another frosty start to your day tomorrow, warming up near 39 degrees with a partly cloudy sky and just a bit colder as compared to today with those winds pretty strong out of the northwest for tomorrow afternoon. And that extended forecast, high pressure takes back in control for Wednesday into Thursday and temperatures warming up for us at that point. Getting back near average with a high near 48 degrees for Thursday afternoon. A storm system working its way in by the end of the week. At this point, it does just look for some spotty showers for really Friday lasting through Sunday, but those temperatures getting much warmer Getting up near 58, near 60 degrees for this weekend. Warmer temperatures, they are slowly going to work their way back in. But it's going to be another cold one out there for us this morning. All right, bundle up if you're on about today. Thanks, Lindsay.